So I'm going to keep going down and um, see what's up. So now I'm getting down towards T6, T7. I like to push the shoulder blade down and, then, and put my finger on the tip so I can get a good sense of where T7 probably is. And I'm just feeling for tightness. Now, muscular tightness and rigidity normally starts as a result of liver chi stagnation at um, T7, bladder 17, the diaphragm shoe point. And in fact, in a lot of acupuncture prescriptions from China, they'll definitely use bladder 17 to release chi stagnation. Because of course, you know, chi stagnation has to involve the diaphragm in most people. It's, you know, the whole diaphragm is, is tightening tremendously. And in her case, this is true, that she has, she has tightness that starts to occur from T7 downwards. Um, it's actually not too bad, though. Yeah, good. It's not that bad. It's not at the level that many people, is, uh, uh, many people have. Um, it's not bad at all. There's a little bit more tightness once we get down to um, T8, T9, there's, there, there it is, look at that. Huh? See how, what I'm doing, see how I'm going over the muscle? Um, to, uh, what's that called, cross fiber friction or something mm -hmm. like that? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm going over the muscle because it enables me to feel the tone of the muscle, to feel for blockages. And I'm, there it is, I'm, I'm, there's a, right there, there's a little tight thing going on. I think it's around T8, T9, but it's on the left. So that makes me think about the possibility that she has some blood sugar um, imbalance or, or hypoglycemic tendencies that she can get kind of shaky if she skips meals and so on. Does that happen to you at all? Uh, occasionally, sometimes. But not often, huh? Not really. So, okay, just wondering. It's still there, though. I would definitely pop a couple of needles in just to loosen it, because right there. Now, when you see these ridges of tension, they might cover four or five different back shoe points mm -hmm. because they're, they're entire ridges of tension. So what's good to do from a diagnostic and a treatment point of view with that is to figure out where is the worst, <laughs> the worst point in this ridge of tension or where, where's the mother load? Where does it where is it actually sort of originating? Um, and in her case, this whole ridge of tension is originating right here right at uh, T8, I'm saying, which um, would make me think that I need to be aware about her pancreas. Maybe that does happen, actually. It does, huh? <laughs> yeah. So if you, if you skip meals, you get pretty strung out and yeah. it's kind of like, Wah. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, match, it would match this. Yeah. Any history of diabetes in your family? I have a cousin. Cousin who has diabetes. Yeah. How old is your cousin? Okay, fairly young. Yeah. Just something worth thinking of, think about. And do you crave sugar a lot? No, not really. Good. Salt more. Salt, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh. However, having said all that, it ain't that bad. It's just a little thing. Yeah, I, would, I would treat it with some needles going that way. Um, no, so now I'm going to go to the right side. The right side is going to tend to reflect more of the liver. <laughs> 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 Wow. Uh, and there's some liver cheese stagnation there, or some liver, maybe not cheese stagnation, there's some liver tension. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you in your menstrual cycle? Uh, I'm on it. Say it again? I'm on it. You're on it, okay. Yeah. Good to know. So again, I would, I would take needles, I would put them in like this. Um, do you mind if I needle you? Okay, maybe once I've completed this process, I'm actually going to just put a few needles in because it would be really, I think, helpful for her to have. It's really great to release the liver diaphragm stuff for people. Now, it immediately makes them feel better. It's simple. Um, and, you know, if you think about that idea I was talking about, that this, this zone right here is um, kind of the, the zone for the entry point of... Um, that essential sort of witnessing consciousness, the non-identified spiritual <laughs> consciousness of a human, then around that, around that consciousness, around that zone, um, it's not surprising that we get a lot of kind of, of, of tension. And the, the, the diaphragm is just kind of critical to open up that way. I'm going to keep coming down 
So at this point in time, that's what, about seven, eight, nine, I'm down to 10. I'm down to gold ladder, which actually seems OK. It fades out before it hits gold ladder, which is actually a, a good sign, I think. I'm going down through spleen, and I felt nothing particularly remarkable, actually. It seems like her digestion is functioning OK. I went through kidney on the right side. and. Uh, again, it's good to train yourself to be attuned to deficiency as well as excess. It's easy, easy to kind of get in touch with the lumps and the nodules and the, and the lines of tension <coughs> and to forget about when there's, a, when there's an actual you know, deficiency, which I, I found and just kept sailing over because it's small. Um, a little kidney deficiency, but actually it's not that strong. No, when you're using the hand, uh, um, are you just... I'm just trying not to be mean, because I'm pressing really hard with my thumb oh, to, okay. to palpate right now. And, and so that you use the, uh, yeah. the other arm as a buffer? Yeah, and just to kind of um, soothe. soothe her. You know, because I'm because this is like you know that mammalian reflex mm -hmm. you know, you touch a dog or a cat or you know or a human in this area and they jump, mm -hmm. right? Because it's that it's that place that the tiger leaps on your back if you're if you're mm -hmm. a mammal, you know, it's like ah, it's very vulnerable, and it's the kidney, right? Which is the okay. you know the, the sort of vulnerable zone uh, that's holding on to the possibility of fear. So. When I'm working on the kidney, both with needles and acupressure, you want to be, you know, sensitive to that, that it's a vulnerable, vulnerable place. And I'm finding a little deficiency here. Now I'm going to figure out where this here is. Can we scoot you around this down just a little bit? Because that'll help me to locate the sacral points. Is that okay for you? Yeah. Thanks. So here's her PSIS. Um, so here's L5S1. I'm going to double check on here. That's L4. I'm at L3, which is her dimine. And it's, there, there's a little, I came into a little sort of pocket of deficiency right here. Um, you know, this is the earth energy. Um, it's not that deficient, but it's a little off. And it could be because she's on her thread. I'm not even sure what to make of it right now. I'm just going to leave it at that. Oh, but it's more deficient here. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this was a deficiency that was beginning, and actually it's, it's, it's more rooted at L4, which is the large intestine um, shoe point, and also the uterus shoe point. Um, how, is your, how is your uterus? Um, it's fine, generally. Good, good. How's your periods? Um, pretty easy. Good, good, good. Yeah. Um, I'm going to tonify this point with acupuncture. This is, this is an actual deficiency right here. Um, and then it extends slightly up that way. Um, <coughs> bearing in mind that the whole lumbar spine is really a reflection of the kidney fundamentally, but I'm going to assume, and your bowel movements are okay? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to assume this is a uterus reflex, but she is on her period, so I'm not going to do anything too dramatic, really. Uh, I'm going to keep going down. L5 seems fine. Going over to. Um, Bladder 26, small intestine, shoe point. Uh, I mean 27, small intestine, shoe point. Bladder 28, bladder, shoe point. Is this painful at all? No, no it seems it's fine. Too. Bladder 29, <coughs> which is that um, earth energy, Zhonggu Shu, mid-spine energy. It's okay? Yep. Oh, now at this point, say again? That's pretty sore. Yeah, I thought so. Over the sacrum, you might need to ask somebody if it's sore because you, act, you can't necessarily palpate, you're not going to palpate necessarily a whole bunch of like lumps and stuff. You might, but very often it's sore to touch, but you don't know it. Like up here, I can tell what's sore. Down over the sacrum, you can't. On the sacroiliac, you can tell what's sore. Mm -hmm. You can tell when it hits something, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, oh, but over the sacrum, you might have to ask somebody. So I had a feeling it was sore, not because I felt any sort of lump or bump or anything, but just because I had a feeling it was sore. Also noticing she has a nice big mole right there, not mole, freckle. I think she has a lot of freckles, so. Once she starts eating a lot of freckles, you're gonna question the, <laughs> the validity of using freckles. But it is a large freckle, and it is the earth energy, again. 
And so we've seen an earth energy reflection here, an earth energy reflection maybe at the pancreas. Mm -hmm.